Hey everybody, Kneecap here. I'm going to do a video about some of the new changes coming in 7.1.5, uh, specifically the use of the game tokens, the WoW tokens, being used as basically a real life currency for uh, buying things in games such as mounts or pets um, and other things you can buy from the store in game. My first reaction to this was that I really liked it. Um, I personally already use WoW tokens just to pay for my WoW. Not that $15 is a lot of money, but it's just kind of nice. It, you kind of feel like you're paying your own way through just by acquiring gold in the game, which before this, you could easily acquire the amount of gold needed, usually around 40 k maybe 50 k depending on your server. And you could easily acquire that in a month just by playing regularly. And uh, I will go over some ways to make some gold if this is something you want to look into. But uh, there's also a bad aspect of it. First of all, the WoW token prices are going to go way up. The demand is going to be higher than on them than it was before because people are going to be like, well, I really want that mount, so I'm just going to farm the gold, buy this, and get the mount that I want. Or I really want this pet because it's really strong. And it's going to help me with some of these... Uh, new pet battle things like the Falcosaurs uh, coming out. Let me be. Let me do those quicker and easier by having a very strong pet. So uh, the price is going to go way up. So that's going to stink for people who actually really need to use the tokens to pay for their game. Uh, so th that that's definitely a negative. Some people can look at it as a negative because in other games, when you try to convert the in-game currency to real-life currency that sort of can kind of really mess up the system a little bit, the order. I tend to think of it from a, a market standpoint, it should be a good thing because you're going to have more gold flowing. There should be more people farming gold, more people buying stuff. Um, there should be then more BOEs on the market. There should be more of everything else that you acquire on the market while you're farming the gold in whichever way you farm it or more people working in the auction house, which is also not a bad thing because the more things are bought and sold, that's a good thing for the market as well. So I tend to look at it as a good thing uh, overall. Uh, as far as gold goes, right now, I can even look real quick. So far this month, I've made roughly 60,000 gold without farming gold whatsoever. The best way at 110 that you can make gold with very little effort is to level and gear your followers up in your order hall. Once they're all at 850 and you have some good equipment on them and they're just maxed out, you'll start getting more and more gold missions. Um, I think I have two right now. Very often you'll have two on your list at the same time. So the gold reward for these missions will be anywhere from 600 to 1,000 gold is what I've seen. and the success bonus though for it is going to be another 750. So even with the 600 gold, that's that's 1350 gold as long as you max out your success rate there. Which you're going to want to choose followers and equipment that lets you max out your success rate. So on a daily basis, I I would say conservatively, if you just average it out per day, I probably make 3000 gold anywhere between 25 Hundred and three thousand gold per day just from uh, follower missions. So if you transpose that over a thirty-day period, um, conservatively, you're talking, you know, what seven thousand five hundred or seventy-five thousand gold at that rate, um, and which is pretty consistent considering. Yes, I've done other things, but uh, I. I'm only halfway through my last token, so I have 15 days left, and I've already made about 60,000 gold. Yes, I do do other things as well, of course, but um, the big thing I do is just I keep sending on those follower missions. That's really great, too, because uh, it's something that you don't even have to sign on for. You know, you can use the nice WoW app on uh, your phone or tablet or whatever. You can always get on that. A little plug for them there. And do your followers. Try to do your goal as much as you can. Just take two seconds, sign on. You don't actually want to sign on while. It's a good way to keep your gold flowing. Uh, another great way in Legion to get gold, if you have actual time to devote to the game, 
is you're going to want to find one of the places where humanoids spawn. So that's Naga, Murlocs, Pirates, whatever. Anything that drops silver or gold. And you're going to want to find one that does not have a world class active. I personally recommend Murlocs. They are really weak and they drop just as much stuff. And there's Murlocs pretty much everywhere, somewhere in each zone. Uh, I personally like the ones in Azuna because uh, there's slightly less like spear throwers. They're more of the melee kind or just the casters that you can silence. If you go protection spec or just have very strong AoE, you can just round them up, kill them all. I think roughly averaging 2200 gold an hour just selling everything to a vendor. If you disenchant greens, um, you're obviously going to make more gold that way by selling the dust. Or you can even, you know, sell an enchant if you are an enchanter. But obviously the more detailed you get, the more money or more gold you'll be able to make. Of course, I'd be remiss to say the best way to make gold in World of Warcraft has and always will be the auction house. So if you really wanted to make gold, what you need to do is probably look into one of the uh, add-ons for auction house. And it'll kind of tell you what to buy because you can make it into this and resell it for more. And, or just resell it because the price is way below market value. So working the auction house is always going to be the best way to make gold. But your other options are to farm things. Or, like I said, the followers are actually a really good way right now in Legion. I've been kind of waiting for them to nerf it. Because, um, like I said, I'm making just a ton of gold. Like I said, 2500 a day is probably fairly accurate. So... That's definitely somewhat something people should probably be looking into if they aren't already. I know a lot of people just finished their order campaign and just said, oh, I'm not dealing with these garrisons again. I do not want to do the followers. Or maybe they just do it when they get like the cars on. Mission pops up on there. But I, I implore you if, you, if you need gold and want gold, to go ahead and focus on that. Um, other than that, Obviously, you can still farm old raids. All the other old farming techniques, you can still use those as well. I was thinking more of Broken Isles, but uh, you can still do farm old things as well. You can farm old transmog items. That's what some people like to do. Those have a good market as well. You can farm pets. Pets have a good market. Um, obviously, when you're doing those things, you want to make sure that you're acquiring other things that are worth stuff as well because you're just kind of, you can't just hope that you get a lucky drop. You're going to want to be collecting some sort of cloth or um, greens or something that you can sell uh, and make a little bit of money to make your time investment worth it. But yeah, um, that's about it for as far as I'm going to go with the whole gold farming thing. But I, I like the idea of wild tokens being used as currency. I'm looking forward to probably buying a mount or a pet or both or, you know, depending on how much I'm going to get into actually trying to farm gold now. Because right now I'm making plenty without having any effort. So I might actually put in some effort and try to acquire some pretty cool items that I normally just want to sink the money into the game. Any, you know, any more money into the game for. But uh, I think it's great. Hopefully, uh, if anyone else has really good gold farming strategies and that you care to share them, go ahead and comment below. Uh, let <laughs> if, you, if you don't mind sharing your secrets here and let everyone know kind of what you do or what, what AI what auction house add-ons you use, things like that. Uh, that's it for this video. Thumbs up and sub, and everyone have a good one.